today we're gonna do a Wildshark Lab 3, which is the DNS Lab. Right now, the first thing that we gotta do is practice the NS lookup. Now, in order to access NS lookup, we gotta open command prompt, which is here. As you can see, it's already open. So, the first thing that we gotta do, like in the first command, it that is to put ns lookup www mit edu we write that now what you see here is that we're trying to find the server however i already know my server DNS server, it's the one the bottom here because the server become using using wireless internet. However, if you're in a campus west web in the campus, and in your like for example, I'm, if you're in a college like in the campus, then like if you have the paper with you and you print it out. Like it showed like one the command prompt example, then the originally the default server would be how should I say DNS prime dot again that's an example, and for me my DNS server is right here, but the but like the computer doesn't recognize that so they write it unknown they put the address anyway we can move on. So then we put in the type in the second command because we're looking for the uh, IP address for this website, which is the wmit.edu. So then we put ns lookup again. We're using com we're patenting the using command prompt to find the IP address of this website. So then we put ns lookup a space like a certain, uh, a little line here type equal ns mit dot edu we write that down and what this does is send us a query of the the type ns record for towards uh, the default server that we're using which in words will be saying please send me the host name of the adopted dns for mit edu And as you see here, this is all the name the non dotted hat. And what we're looking at is mit.edu name so we got usw2.akm.net and different names. So that's what we're looking at. And then in the third part of the NS lookup, we're going to be looking at a website, but it's coming from Korea, basically. So then there's going to be like a different website, not the one that we use. So we put NS lookup, space www.aiit.org.kr space 8. Point eight, point eight, point eight. Uh, and what it's saying us to us about the survey is that it's Google. That the survey is the end of Google. And the address is eight point eight 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 eight. And the non dotted answer is www.ait.or.kr. Address five eight two two nine point six point two two five, which is showing that. And wait a minute. Again, so basically. Like for the one that we put in the top this line type you want to the MIT that why the send here like all these names the non dotted basically all of these are service. And right here in this in the Korean website, this is the actual address of the website in the bottom here. So right here, this is just the one that we put in. 
the unknown other end is this that the actual web the address of the website which is five eight point two two nine point six point two two five if you understand and now we're gonna ask the following questions like what so in the first question that we gotta do is that we gotta use NS lookup to find the IP address of a web server in Asia and what is the IP address of that particular server so again we have our commit pop so we put NS lookup and then we put the website which of the Asian website with www.reddit.com hold on correction I made a mistake the actual was the www.reddit.com I think that's the Asian website that we're using to look at and right now we already have the IP address we have 23.67.60.89 well basically to 89 or 80 again so we could write in here the IP address Of the web server in Asia is the numbers twenty three point six seven point six zero point eighty. We could put or you know that depending on the chart by right now I'm gonna put 80 and it's showing on my screen and then for the second question we need to look up uh, we need to determine the um, adult and the DNS search for a university in Europe and then for that one we gotta look up for the the one DNS search in uh, from for mail in for yahoo.com and the IP address so we'll work on that later okay while we were answering um, we we're doing now right here while I was entering part two I was looking at a college in I type in a college from London the the sign and the non adult and um, the service and the and the service are and all of these other servers right here. The first one, ac.uk name server dot dns dot not dot equal dns slash three point dfn dot d e. Another one, ns zero ya dot n ns two ya net ns one dot serve net dot nl ns four dot yet a u t h zero three point n s dot u u u dot net ns three ya dot net so basically all of these uh, servers, however, like if we want to find um, the adult server, I will write it in the bar, so please be patient. Okay, now, the main adult domain server of the, uh, now we were looking at this one, this was the uh, college. I put in the website here, and here it is. Now, the main adult <sighs> Main server is gonna be the uh, G this one right here I believe although I could be wrong so we put in GS lb1 dot net dot ic dot ac dot uk ic dot ac dot uk 
And so we'll be looking on the Yahoo mail later and its IP address. Okay, as I was looking for the IP address of Yahoo and the DNS server Yahoo.com, the mail.yahoo.com, as I already put it in the machine. For the address of Yahoo, this is the address, all of this number. So I'm going to copy all this here. And the DNS server, or the primary name server, is yf1.yahoo.com. And the mail address is hostmaster.yahoo.com. So then, we're looking for like the mail service. So, probably it's going to be one of these. But right now, let's get the address. You write this down, and then we put it here. Put them in, change the font, and then put the size. As in here, but basically, This was here. Uh, yeah, basically like that. Okay. And for the IP address, I'm just gonna. Oops. I think I made a mistake here. Let me just fix my error. Put it here. And then we delete this. And we write the DNS server. Is the main DNS, the primary one, yf1.yahoo.com. One.yahoo.com. They left dead and we get confused and we also write like the mail address here is hostmaster.yahoo.com So basically, we know, I know it's not asking for it, but I'm just putting it in, so I don't forget it. As you can see here, we already answered all the questions of NSLOOKA. Next, we're going to do IP config in the next video.